Hello, welcome to Skidsteer University. This is CAN bus technology class 201. And what this is about is a little bit more in-depth conversation about CAN bus technology and how we use this to interact with our attachments and how this was used uh, in one of the ma major manufacturers machines and just basically what we do to, to work around this. So uh, back in the 50s, Robert Bosch came up with the technology uh, and what it was was it enabled the um, components of uh, automotive uh, types of equipment to interact with each other. So if you had, especially in a modern car, if you had each, each sensor having a set of wires going back to the, uh, to the main, basically the main system, uh, you would have a bundle of wires about this big. So what they had to do is to try and alleviate this is they have um, a common bus and what that means is you have each component communicating on a bus so that you can make the, the entire system much smaller and much more interactive. So now you can actually talk to each component of that, say an engine and get feedback from it constantly and update the, uh, the settings of the controller at the same time. So step ahead uh, up into the late 90s and Bobcat decided to add this to their machines. Well, in the machine side, that's a good idea because you've got all these sensors, you've got all this technology interacting with each other. But what they did was they went a step further and they took this out to the attachment. So now you've got the, the machine talking to the attachment. Uh, the attachments, we all know, they have a rough life. They're sitting on the field, they're getting that crap beat out of them all the time. They sit in the snow and they sit in the sun. So things happen. What you want to do is you want to minimize that. You don't want to have so much interaction out there just for that simple reason. Now on some attachments, things like cold planers and stuff where you want to monitor things that are happening or a, a dozer blade or a greater blade where you've got lasers that are interacting with the machine, that is a great idea because you've got so much feedback and so many things happening at once. Uh, you want to take the control away from the operator and let these things uh, be operated individually with the, the laser controls. So it's a great idea for that. But if you have a six-way dozer blade, just a plain old dozer blade, you have a broom, simple things like that, it, it just kind of gets in the way. You've just got too much technology trying to run something that's very simple. So what we did was uh, we noticed that this was a problem and my background is electronics. I work with a, a really good engineer. And what we did is we came up with a simple little system. And what this does is this connects onto your Bobcat and it has, uh, two power pins, we've got positive and negative, and it has a can high and a can low. So what this does is this monitors the bus of the machine and listens to see if you push a button. If you push a button, it says, okay, he's pushed a button now, now let's trigger one of these ports. When you trigger one of these ports, what it's really doing is it's just turning it on and off. So it's just like you going to a wall, to a wall switch and you're turning the wall switch on and off. So when you do that, that can actually get turned into a solenoid control. So when I connect this up to a solenoid bank, now when you are sitting in your cab, you touch a button, the button sends a signal down the bus of the Bobcat, the Bobcat sends a signal down these two wires here. This is sitting here listening for, the, for that signal. So it's a code, it's waiting for that code. It, it sees that code, it says, okay, turn this on. So when it turns it on now, now we turn on a solenoid and a solenoid causes some kind of interaction in the block. Now that block could be controlling your blade. So it changes your blade from going from tip to tilt. So now you're able to push the button, use the select or the uh, pump valve control on the right stick and tell it to turn left, turn right, select here, tell it to tip left, tip right. So it's just that simple. So what we've done is we've just really just made it as simple as possible for people to take things back to the way they used to be and just have a very simple interaction. Now, if you break a wire or something happens out here, it's very simple for you to troubleshoot. You can go, okay, I have a broken wire here. I need to fix this. This box is completely self-contained. Uh, it has all of the, the brains in here and it's listening all the time on the Bobcat. Uh, it does not interact with the Bobcat in any way. So it's not giving any kind of feedback to the Bobcat. It's not telling it anything. All it's doing is monitoring. It's waiting for a code. When it hears that code, it says, okay, switch this on or switch it off. And if it hears another code, it says switch this one on, switch it off. 
So it's very, very simple. You don't really need, you don't need to be any kind of a technologist. We've taken all of that kind of away from it so that it's very simple for you to just connect it up to whatever you need it to run and you're, you're ready to go. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, contact us through Twitter, contact us through Facebook, through our website, email, or give us a call and uh, we're happy to answer them, per answer them personally. If there's something that comes up that you, that's very interesting to us as well, we'll do a video on that and post it and give you some credit for it. So thanks very much and I hope you enjoyed this video.